What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 21 of the FIFA 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan. We are at 47 goals, 17 assists in just 36 games. The season is coming to an end. Last episode, we were able to get our 100th career goal and that is a really, really awesome milestone that we're able to like smash right there. And well, I can't wait for us to get the 200, the 300, the 400 and then eventually we're eventually we're going to get to 700 and then we'll be close to ronaldo and then we're going to like surpass ronaldo and then we'll be happy Kiriowa jonathan said that i will be missed sorry if i am not getting your name right Kiriowa jonathan that's why so that you said that i will be missed thank you so much for that and you also asked for more content with this player career mode so i think i'm just going to try and do that so in order to do that, I might just like have to strictly not finish matches and then be because I really do not want to spend a lot of time playing this particular series. So I'm just going to have to like minimize the amount of time I spend in matches to be able to go as far as possible. So in this episode, we might actually end up in the match against Hamburg. We're not going to play that obviously, we're going to sim it. As well as this one against Hertha BSC, we're going to play the one against uh, Juventus, then Bayer Leverkusen. We're going to see him pass this one as well, and we'll play the one against Bayern, obviously. Okay, so apparently my health is nil. Like I have no health there, and <laughs> this is actually a bad thing because most of the team is low on health as well. Which just means, that, why is Bellingham playing CB? Like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess that happened. And I'm actually just realizing that he's playing CB, which is very, very weird. Anyways, I was talking about the health. We're, we're all low on stamina, so there's actually a possibility that we won't win this match, but I hope that is not the case. We're just, we're just going to try and go all out in this match. And... Hopefully, it's going to be good enough. Okay, our match objectives are to gain match rating of 8.5, get at least one goal or assist, and have a dribble success rate of 50%. We already know the one I'm going to be enhancing, which is this, so I'll talk to you guys after this match is they over. They should come out on top again today. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Zan. And he takes it all, and denied by the keeper. Impressive. So good. He just has that knack of knowing where the ball will drop. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. keeper and nothing wrong with that free kick either he's got to have a go here oh tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger okay and Ronaldo Sanchez with it now oh just wide of the mark Goal kick. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region. All right, so that's it for the first half. We weren't able to get any goals. Neither side were able to get any goals. And I, I think that should be enough to go through to the semi-finals, I guess. So I'm just going to sim or rather sort myself out and let's see what the team is going to do. Uh, when we get out, I mean, by the way this thing has been going, the same scores when I get subbed out, so it will be the same scores when I, like at the end of the match. So I'm hoping that doesn't change, and it actually, it actually does. 
Jovic scores in the 54th minute right after Dybala scored in the 50th. And well, with that, we are still through to the uh, to the semi-finals, or rather the quarter-finals. Wow, I thought we were actually long gone. Oh, I'm just realizing that we didn't actually get the main uh, manager rating. And well, that sucks. Alright, so someone said that if I want to increase my rating, I have to put the skill point in the stuff that my player needs. Because, so like since he's a striker, I really don't need, I really don't need, like, you know, passing and defending traits or other physical traits like that. So I'm just going to remove some from passing, like, I don't know why I have the artist archetype traits, I don't know why I have that, and this one. So I have 10 traits right there, so I'm just going to, sorry, 10 skill points, so I'm just going to work on other stuff, you know, how... How much is the sniper archetype okay so that is going to take free kick and penalties a lot higher than it normally is so my free kick is on 80 and my penalties are on 77 so that should be good i guess i i, I actually still want my curve to be good but i mean since i actually can't do that then there really isn't any point really so the remaining four skill points, I think I'm going to... Okay, I really don't need to work on my shot power that much. And... Uh, okay, what else? Okay, long shots are on 78 right now. So I, I can probably increase that. And again, and again. So my long shots are on 89 now. Let's see how much... We actually went down to 86. Okay. <laughs> I have... I have absolutely no idea how that stuff works. So what else can I remove though? All right, so I did a little bit of shuffling and we're able to get everything from the dribbling, dribbling point and we have like nine and we're actually on 87, so that actually works. So I can just use the remaining nine to do other things that actually matter. Like my long shots here, I can take those up and then I have Okay, my weak foot, my weak foot, I could still, okay, I actually need to take that up. And then the next one is, yeah, I guess that should be okay, I guess. We're still 87, so no. I'm going to remove one of the weak, weak foot. And then with the remaining three, I think I should, I should probably be able to do something. And yeah, I think. Okay, so that actually goes, got us up to 88, so you actually just have to um, play with the skill points in the, exact, in the exact way that you need to, you know, play them. So next up is this match against Bayer Leverkusen. We are almost at full stamina, and I, I guess I should actually make a difference in this match because we weren't able to do that well in the previous match. Okay, our match objectives are to get an 8.5 match rating, 55% team possession and a dribble success rate of 50 well you see this this team possession thing i have never actually gotten it because that actually has nothing to do with with me if i was a man if i was a manchester city now maybe or barcelona or real madrid maybe that that would actually be working but since it's not then oh well well i enhanced it and i actually really really like these cut things though because they actually just focus on zan and well it's nice. And so the battle commences. Brandt. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Clears it away. Gives it a go. Now well, closed down straight away. Digne. He must finish. Again, he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power. Aidara. 
Brandt with it. An incisive pass. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. It's a short corner. Happy to take on the shot. Able to get a body in the way. And he favours the inside route. Well, taking on that shot and not missing by much. This looks promising. Defensive efficiency personified. Useful looking ball. Oh, off the top of the crossbar. Well, that's inches away from being the perfect finish. Bisuma. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a... Well, they know they need to stop him. And he's broken free. Well, he had the chance. He went for the power. pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Zan. Brandt. Firing it towards goal. Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the... Zan might be able to get in behind the defence. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, they've been quiet for a while now, but this has got them going. Over it comes. Well, that's the end of that for now. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. All right, so the match ended 1-1, or rather, it, it ended 1-1 at half-time. We actually missed a lot of crucial opportunities to get ahead in that match. And, well, the final shot that we took, I can't even remember if there was someone to pass to or not, because, like, I was just thinking of get the goal, get the goal, and, well, the keeper saved it and here we are we're going to be making a sub or rather we're going to jump to results and let's see if yep nothing happens it's like it's whenever it's zero zero that's when the thing happens that's when the the match actually gives you a score from the simulation all right so next up is the match against vfd stuttgart and we're just going to be spinning through that let's hope that we're actually able to come out with the win and we do we score in the fifth minute and that was the only highlight of the second of the first half so we are i think 107 goals now yep we are 107 goals 33 assists in 106 appearances that is really really mad figures right there i, I legit can't get over it and apparently i forgot that i was german and i forgot that i actually played the german score because we haven't been in the team for a long ass time but it's a friendly so we don't really care we're just going to sim past them real quick uh we score in 26 minutes and yeah we're legit scoring in every single match probably because we are in good form i think that's how it works i'm not quite sure we also get the manager's uh objectives the the, the important one that's why i call it all right so we're just going to skip all the way to this match against hertha bsd uh Germany actually won the match against Sweden, so no big deal there. So I'm going to be sitting through this match again. Uh, now that I look at it, this is actually very, very fucked up because Lucas Digne is playing CDM. Kera is playing right back. I mean, yeah, he can play right back and all, but it's weird that he's playing... It's weird that he's playing right back and Bellingham is playing centre back in all the wide world. He's in the freaking midfield. <laughs> that, I just agree. Anyways, let's see what we're going to be able to do against Hertha BSC. We do not score, and the match will be draw. So that really, that really isn't what we're looking for, but that's what we got. So the quarterfinals is against Barcelona. So I'm going to be playing this match. Then I will wrap up this episode, or I might even play one more. Depending. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll play the match against Bayern after this match against Barcelona, and then I'll wrap it up there. Okay, Van Dijk is in Barcelona <laughs> and Werner as well. I think it was Werner and Van Dijk I saw there. So this team is going to be absolutely crazy. Like, <laughs> well, the lineup, like, 
I didn't even look at the main lineup that much, but oh, well, we're supposed to get a match rating of 8.5. Avoid losing the match and we're supposed to score at least one goal. Okay, so this this is a very important match because I mean we have to either join it or win it to be honest. So let's just go all out and see what results we get. This should be a really interesting first leg. And they kick off this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Running with the ball confidently. Must be! There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. And teammates to play it to. Tempele. Werner. Now what can they do from here? And he's made headway. And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona are level. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of men. He's in here. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Brandt. Zan. Useful looking ball. And another one! Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. Werner. Barca maintain possession. Advantage. A chance to eat into their lead. And a goal! Not over just yet. Bellingham. Zan. Emre Can. Oh, could be a goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, let's take another look. And what a build up to the goal this is. The one and two touch pass is so crisp and accurate, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. All right, so I guess it's safe to say that Barcelona ain't shit. <laughs> I mean, if not for Conrad Zan, they would have completely dominated this match. I mean, they did in the possession department, but... I mean, I was just too much for them up front. I mean, once my team got the ball, I just had to make... We just had to make every single opportunity count. That last goal was a fucking beast of a goal, to be honest, from Conrad Zan. And well, we're just going to be coming off here. And yeah, Yusuf Enaziri is coming on. I, I guess Dorbron has actually gotten a replacement striker. I guess it remains 4-2 as usual. Uh... I want to talk about something. Do you guys want me to leave Dortmund this season or do you guys just want me to stay in Dortmund and get as many points as possible in Dortmund? Because to be honest, Dortmund, I mean, the team I'm seeing there is like a mid-range a mid -range team and they're just doing really good because of me. I'm not even trying to brag or anything, but that's, that's legit what's happening. So do you guys want us to 
stay in Dortmund or you guys want me to, you know, leave Dortmund. All right, next up is the match against Bayern Munich and we have beaten them every single time that we have faced them, if I am not wrong. Yeah, so if we win this match, then we are going to be even clear of them, even more clear of them on the table. I have no idea what position we are on the table, but we most likely are supposed to be first. Yep, I was right. We are first and we are five points away from Bayern. So we have to make this eight points away from them. And Leipzig, they're facing uh, whoever the fuck that team is away from home. And oh, we've, we've lost one match. Oh, yeah, we lost that match against uh was it Bayern Leverkusen or Borussia was in back one of those teams or I think it was VFB Stuttgart yeah it was VFB Stuttgart anyways with not much else to say this will be the last match for this episode I hope I was able to get as many I, I hope I was able to play as much games as you guys want me to if I was just like put put it down in the comment section like I mean I won't even be I probably won't be able to like reply in the next video in the next uh so i mean just put it down nonetheless okay so so we to get a match rating of 8.5 so let's get a team possession of 55 percent and take three shots on target well thanks derek as always the scene is set two good teams a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere all the ingredients for a really exciting game so the table looks like this, and all very tight in the upper reaches. It's not lost on the managers how important this game is. Griezmann! And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, there we have it, the first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. The keeper did to parry it. Corner flag. They favoured a short one here. Shot attempted, and the penalty has been given here. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. This to make it 1-0. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Hummels. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Blocked it brilliantly. Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. Pass into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations. I think they'll get back into this. Not messing around with that clearance. Giving it a try. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Good piece of defending. Zan. Brandt. He'll have a go here. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. Keeper. Alfonso Davies. Given away by Bayern Munich. Hummers. Great opportunity. And the keeper showing tremendous command. The entertaining game. With a semi-final place at stake, there's everything to play for.
It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, here it is again, and wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. Kimmich. Well, they've given him too much space. Goretzka. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence splitting ball, and then the shot is emphatic. All right, so it turns. All right, so it turns out that Dortmund couldn't just hold that fucking lead. I, I give them a spectacular goal to make us win this match, and they just couldn't do that. I mean, I would love to watch the rest of the match, but <laughs> the way the team is, there's no way they're going to be winning against Bayern. So I'm just going to take the draw for what it is. Uh, these guys, if if Leipzig won their match, they are going to be, uh, what's it called, two points, one point behind us if they won their match, and that is that is fucked up. So we have to win every single fucking match from now on. That will be in the next episode. <sighs> All right, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn post notifications on. And also drop comments on what you think about the series and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.